Hi, I'm Mr. Simons, and in this video, we're going to look at the concept of interdependence, not independence, that's something different. This is interdependence, where different key business functions rely on each other for the whole business to succeed. So when we talk about a business and the key business functions or KBFs, the KBFs we've got are marketing, operations, human resources, and finance. When we talk about the concept of interdependence, what we're really looking at is the fact that the KBFs have mutual dependence on each other. What do I mean by that? Well, what we mean is that each KBF needs the other to succeed and for the business to thrive, that no business function can succeed on its own. And this is very much the case when we think about the key business functions and their reliance on finance. In a way, we can say that finance underpins everything, that without the money, how can marketing, HR and operations succeed? It's just not possible. When we think about this concept of interdependence, I like to think about it like a high performing team, that in a team sports, it's very unlikely where one individual can win the game for the team. Sure, there are exceptions, but in general, you need different people with different skills and abilities to come together to help each other out and to succeed against the opposition. So let's think about it in this business context. So we're looking at how do marketing, HR and operations rely on finance? In a way, we're saying, how is finance interdependent with the other key business functions? When we talk about operations, that finance allows a business to buy inputs and engage in the transformation process. So of transforming those inputs, those raw materials into outputs. A business can't run operations without the money to purchase the inputs in the first place and to engage those transformation processes of turning the raw materials into the fancy shiny products. If we then think about marketing, there's no way that a business can run those fancy campaigns and hire celebrity spokespeople without having the money allocated to it from finance. So without finance, marketing can't function to a high standard. Actually, marketing can't function to any standard because who's going to pay for the ads? Who's going to pay for the social media campaigns? It needs to be finance who has allocated the money to marketing and then they can do their thing and then the business can boost revenue, sales, profit and so on. If we also think about human resources, this is a really good example of how vital finance is because if finance doesn't have the funds to allocate to HR, how can HR actually hire anybody? And if you don't have anybody in the business, how can it actually succeed? That HR is so dependent on finance to find the funds, to find the, well, finance, to allocate to HR so it can then hire employees and also reward them with bonuses and other benefits for strong performance to encourage greater productivity to encourage greater productivity, greater output and efficiency and greater sales. So in this way we can see that marketing, operations and HR, HR are so reliant on finance to provide that money so that they can operate, so that they can thrive. So let's flip the script a little bit and let's think about it the other way. How does finance depend on these other functions? Well, finance needs money to do its thing. It needs the money to actually be coming into the business because then it can allocate, it can plan, it can forecast, can sort out all the stuff behind the scenes to ensure that the business is sustainable and that each of the key business functions has sufficient finance or funds to succeed. So finance needs all the other key business functions to be successful because when the KBFs succeed, then sales are up, income is coming in, finance can collect that money and then allocate it and sort things out in terms of the business as a whole. So just as HR, marketing and operations need finance, 
Well, finance needs them to succeed so it can do its thing. In this way, all of the key business functions are interdependent. They are all reliant on each other's success to succeed themselves. One way you could talk about it in terms of short answer or essay responses is to think about the idea that interdependence means that no KBF can succeed in isolation. Each KBF needs the other to be able to succeed and thrive. So hopefully this was useful to you that there are often short answer questions and even some business reports that look at this idea of interdependence. So you really need to be able to define what interdependence is, and it's not independence, it's interdependence. And then also to specifically talk about how different KBFs rely on each other. And maybe that's the point, is when you see interdependent, just think about how do they rely on each other? How do they need each other to succeed? Just like if they were a sporting team. Imagine that basketball is suddenly 4v4 and your starting four is HR, operations, marketing, and human resources. No, that's HR. And finance. I've just been talking about finance. So imagine your starting four is your KBFs, HR, operations, marketing, finance. They need each other to be able to go against the opposition and succeed and thrive. They need each of their skills to be firing and to work as a cohesive unit. Thank you very much for watching. Any questions, comments, put them in the comments. Please like the video if it's useful. This helps to make it a little bit more widely spread so others can find out about it and get some value too. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.